right guys, welcome back to the channel here. Last I picked up on the washbin base here, I was having quite difficulties trying to extract or get out the truss rod nut itself here because as you have seen from the previous videos, I struggled because the nut itself has ceased or somewhat corroded or stuck in there so it was really hard to get out. But off camera today I decided to give things another go and out the truss rod nut came here and let me tell you it took quite a bit of time and I went back and forth with a little bit of uh, rust and loosening cleaner uh, spray and I tried quickly to get in there with a bit of tissue paper to pick up the residue and make sure that nothing would get in and seep into the wood but after a few goes and taking the allen key back and forth here, just trying to loosen, tighten, loosen, tighten. And um, I heard the the nut or the truss rod nut here give in, um, followed by a few small cracks or knacks, I should say. Um, and for a little bit of time, I could feel it with the Allen key insert. I could feel it starting to loosen and I could see the nut itself uh, come further and further out towards me and then I managed to get it out and let me tell you these threads not only on the truss rod nut itself but also the threads on the truss rod itself here they are badly corroded and there are I would say something that looks like rust on there so maybe this base at some point has been stored in a humid area or something because I can see that some of the tuning keys and the screws they are also affected by something like that but the important part is we got the truss rod nut out and I checked the neck here and it's perfectly straight so we now have adjustability over the truss rod so I wanted to give this quick little update here so in the next video I will touch on cleaning this up looping it properly and taking care of the threads inside in order to clean them up and get rid of the corrosion and the rust. Then we're going to take a look at the neck itself, adjusting it straight. And from doing that, we can start getting out of the old knot, creating the new one, and basically have things take off from there. And in the process, you will see me use the tools that I have sent from a good company. And um, I'm looking forward to using them for the rest of the project because now we can actually continue with this out here. So yeah, I'm quite happy about that. So until next time, guys, thank you. And I will see you in the next video.